With baseball season cranking up and basketball season winding down, this is the time of year that Pat McBride used to be pretty busy. It is when he took the first step towards that would become quite a life. Tim Van Voren goes beyond the game. Oh, oh really? Yeah. Now, where was the Bucks bench? On this uh, side or that side? The Bucks bench was on this side. Do you make your breaks in life or do your breaks make you? After a 40-year career in the medical profession, Pat McBride has written a book attributing his success to a period of his life in which he feels he was the luckiest boy in the world. I trace every part of my career to my start in these professional sports careers because I had mentors that taught me how to behave professionally, to act around other adults, to do things the right way, and they also taught me to believe in myself. McBride landed the chance to be a Milwaukee Brewers ball boy when the team came to town in 1970, which eventually led to more responsibilities with that organization and the Milwaukee Bucks and even the Green Bay Packers when they would play games at County Stadium. He was a multitasker before anyone even knew what that was. When you run that kind of a schedule where there's very little sleep and you keep your grades up, your, your work ethic at a young age is, is there. I mean, you just, all of a sudden you get out in the real world and work an eight hour a day job, that's nothing. That bit about being lucky? Classmates assumed that was because McBride had a front row seat to live sports and got to interact with the biggest names in the games. But he sees it differently. You know, when I walked into that locker room the first time, I thought that I was gonna be stargazing at the big stars, and that didn't happen at all. Because what you learn in a locker room, it's not what their statistics are, but how they treat us. And so the stars, I don't care. And that was an incredible lesson for me. This was where all the visiting teams were. Forced to be highly organized, McBride flourished and chose a professional path that played to his strengths. Along the way came personal fulfillment and the idea of putting pen to paper. The book, the sports stories, they're great. They're just, they, but the, the life story in there is to me what, what I tell anybody that wants to listen to me about my friend writing a book, that's what the book's about. Part of the story where I grew up in a family of dysfunction is the story that 70 to 80% of people grew up in during that time of my life. Learning to manage that and come out of it on the other side is really the part of the story that most people resonate with, even more than the sports. This book does a lot of things for writer and reader alike, but leaves the question about what comes first in the breaks of life hard to answer. In Milwaukee, Tim Van Voren, Fox 6 Sports. Pat may have been the luckiest boy in the world, but readers of this book, Tim tells us, they'll be pretty fortunate as well. A lot of wisdom, it seems like there are. I know. It's something we've got to get our hands on that.